Good morning, good afternoon, good night, guys. It's Jojo, and for me, it's actually good night. It's eight o'clock at night, and I was not planning on going to Disney World today. However, my friend just texted me that there's a new lightsaber in Galaxy's Edge, and it sells out really quick, so I'm gonna hustle over there, showcase it to you guys, and give you a few Galaxy's Edge updates. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead, like, subscribe, share, and ring that bell. I can't believe I'm leaving right now. It's freezing outside. It's been raining all day. All right, next stop, Hollywood Studios. I'm driving down this road right now at nighttime when it's raining. It does not feel like I'm in Orlando right now. It is so weird. Normally I can see the tower of terror from here. This is so odd. I have never come to a park this late. The park closes in 25 minutes. It's 8.30. You have to go around because obviously they're not charging for parking with 30 minutes left of the park being open. Wait, that's crazy. They still have people parking out here that late. Did not expect that. Disney's Hollywood Studios. Look at all these people leaving. I kind of feel cool coming in right now. <laughs> Thank you. I kind of feel like I just chugged the whole coffee. I spent the whole day hiding from the cold and rain, playing video games, doing chores in my own apartment. So coming here, I'm, it's kind of like a shock. I'm just like, oh my God, people, the world is real. <laughs> Fun fact, they have two shows at the end of the day here at Hollywood Studios, one at 8.40 and 9 o'clock. They actually brought back this uh, show that talks about all their favorite movies. I've never seen it in full, and tonight's not the night. <laughs> also, you can tell that it was a slow day today. Look how many people are in here. Usually this whole area is just full, but there is a lot of space. <laughs> Okay, so since I've left my house, I've been on the go, on the go, because I want to check out this lightsaber, but I also want to go on one ride. I have 19 minutes. I don't know if we're going to be able to pull it off in time. Fun fact, I have still never eaten at this restaurant to this day. One day, though. If y'all can get the opportunity to come to Disney World or any Disney park and stay until close, I definitely recommend it because there's something special about seeing the parks just empty out and then go from kind of hectic to chill. I mean, this whole area is just empty right now and it looks so beautiful. You could definitely make some good TikToks or take some good Instagram pictures here. At 8.40, Rise of the Resistance is at a 60 minute wait. But I don't really believe it. I feel like it's more of a 30 to 45 minute wait. Still better than during the day. For any of my Star Wars fans who hasn't been to Galaxy's Edge at nighttime yet, you are missing out. One thing, the lighting is beautiful at night. There's like just so much ambience that happens when the sun sets. And second off, when there's less people in the park, you can hear a lot more sound effects. I feel a lot more immersed in the world right now, honestly. My one gripe about Galaxy's Edge though is I wish characters would stay out a little bit later. Usually when the sun sets, that's when the characters go back to their homes for the evening. It'd be cool to see some stormtroopers or Rey with a lightsaber right now. Another fun fact when you're planning your vacation, Savi's workshop, the Create Your Own Lightsaber spot, actually has reservations up till an hour after the park. Granted, all of the reservations are full for today, but you can stay here an hour past the Technic Park close to make your lightsaber, which is sick. Always running into familiar friends. What's up, man? What's your name? I'm Nate. Now, Nate was the one to give me the tip about the new Darth Maul Legacy lightsaber in stock. This is the new one, and this is the original one. What's this one called again? This one is called the Standard Darth Maul Legacy lightsaber, while the new one is called the Shadow Collective Darth Maul Legacy lightsaber. Shadow Collective. That is insane. And he hasn't opened it yet. He's been waiting for us. We're going to check this out right now. Now, this, this came into stock like earlier this week, right? It came into stock. But it sold out. It came into stock, I believe, on the 23rd, but it sold out. Like, they only had 30 units in stock wow i got a hot tip that they had him in today <laughs> and we're gonna check and it out right now right okay let's do right, it we so, so we have the original darth maul legacy lightsaber looking all pretty love that i mean i want it i'm jealous you have it and now the shadow collective shadow collective spooky whoa this thing looks a lot bigger this hill it does it is much bigger can i take it out the box of can course I touch it oh Size comparison, it's obviously a lot bigger. Now, where is this from? This is from the animated series? Is so that... This is from season seven of Star Wars The Clone Wars. This one is. This one is. Yeah. Season seven of The Clone Wars, yeah. got you. And originally this lightsaber was Asajj Ventress's and it was a yellow bladed lightsaber and somehow came into the possession of Darth Maul, but we don't know how. That is yet to be revealed. Oh, oh, so maybe a Disney Plus spinoff or something? 
Maybe. I know they covered it in like the comics and unfinished episodes of Clone Wars. Oh. But no like official story on how he on how it was. Wow, that's the size, that's the difference. Now this is the newest legacy lightsaber in Galaxy's Edge Correct. for uh, 2022. Definitely yeah, here yeah. in Walt Disney World. So if you're a fan of Darth Maul, you might want to get this. I mean, it's very light and obviously Darth Maul is amazing because you can put lightsabers on both ends. One, two, we'll figure it out right now. We'll go test it outside in the rain. It's probably gonna look sick. Oh, how much does this retail, by the way? Uh, this lightsaber was $159.99. Wait, that's about, not bad. About $170 with tax. Okay, that's not that's really, really not that bad at all. I'm pretty impressed. And, how much is that one? Uh, that one, if I remember right, it was $149.99. Okay, cool. I mean, hey, guys, come get it before they sell out. Let's go. Uh, can we go play with it now? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> we got the blade plug flying out. <laughs> Okay, so I found out something really cool about this new Legacy lightsaber, and I'm really excited to show you guys. But first, we have to pause the review and go on Slinky Dog, because we only have four minutes until the park closes. A little fun fact, if you make it before the park closes, so if it's like 8.59 and you get in line, you're good to go. So hopefully, we don't have to wait too long, and hopefully we make it it's right around the corner here. Also, this is just a regular, uh, what is this called again? It's a NeoPixel. A NeoPixel, I need a new one too, but these, they're fun. You can't get them in Disney World. Slinky Dog Dash. We made it at 8.57. It's a 30 minute wait. I don't think it's going to be a 30 minute wait. The line seems to be moving pretty quick. As we're waiting in line for Slinky Dog Dash, I wanted to update you guys on the Droid Depot, the Create Your Own Droid. They have the boxes back, which is great. I think they're really cute. I think it adds to the whole experience. However, they don't have the sheaths back for the Create Your Own lightsaber. Honestly, I don't know why people wouldn't want to have a lightsaber, especially in Disney World. It's like one of the one places you can't get judged for just walking around the front in the open like this. And on top of it, I mean, like, it's so, like, entertaining. How do I... Look at <laughs> Every time I turn this on, I just... It brings a smile to my face. This makes me happy. Okay, at 9.15, we did it! Yeah, we did it, man! We made it on made to it. Slinky Dog. Our Uber has arrived. We have so much extra cargo on us right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's cold out. Here we go. Okay, we're headed back to Galaxy's Edge so we can do a full review on the newest lightsaber. It's super cool. The wait is worth it. However, I just wanted to mention on the way out of Toy Story Land, this is where the new restaurant is going to be. And they just recently announced that it is coming out in 2022. Very excited for it. I'm going to try to be there opening day. Galaxy's Edge is just such a vibe at nighttime, everyone. Another update, they do have legacy lightsabers available again. Which ones do they have? Do you remember off the top of your head? They have the original Darth Maul, they have Shadow Collective Darth Maul, they have the Dark Saber. Oh yeah. They have Luke Skywalker, Return of the Jedi, and Princess Leia. That's awesome, because uh, a week and a half ago, <laughs> Galaxy Z didn't have any legacy lightsabers to sell. During the daytime, it's nearly impossible to get a picture of the Millennium Falcon and just you. But if you come at the end of the day after closing, because Galaxy's Edge does stay open past the closing of the park, you can get some solid, good lightsaber picks. Okay, now the coolest thing about this Legacy lightsaber is that you can set up both ends. Now, what's the situation with that? So, in order to connect it, you first, um, it comes with an Allen key, and then it also comes with a special connector. So this connector can only work with the original Darth Maul Legacy lightsaber. You can't connect two of the Shadow Collective ones. Oh! So to do it, basically what you need to do is you have to unscrew this top piece here. Pop! Okay. 
Yeah, so you gotta pull this piece off first. And then after you do that, you put the connector on. That's okay. crazy. Yeah, you gotta. This is a whole thing. Screw it on. So it only connects with the mall. The yeah, original it only mall. Connects with the original that mall. That is insane. Okay, okay. That's good to know if you guys want to dual wield. Or what do you call it? It's not dual wield, but like, what's the official term for like having two blades on one uh, it, it would be you'd be wielding a lightsaber staff or a saber staff. A saber well. staff. Okay, gotcha. Oh, look at this thing though. It looks so sick. Then you got to line them up like this. And after you do that, keep it pushed down. Take the original maul and take it off. Keep the connector held to the shadow maul. You got that. <laughs> you got to insert the little pieces in there. Now guys, comment down below. If you want a full detailed, like at home tutorial for this, let us know. We can do that. Yeah, definitely. But this is crazy. He he is working right now. We're in the cold. <laughs> you can see our breaths. Look at this man. He's working at it. All right, so then after it's all in there and it's all connected, if you do it the way that was just showed, it should line up perfectly. It did, it lined up perfectly. That is so so this Freaking is the, sick. So this is the full lightsaber for Darth Maul that was seen in season seven of Clone Wars. And actually, it's very it's very balanced weight. Really? Here you are. Oh, wow. Feel yeah, it? yeah. Very balanced. Okay. <laughs> okay, we have connected both Legacy Maul lightsabers together. Before this new one came out, you would have to buy two of the same one to make the whole staff. Now, one thing really cool about the new Maul is that here's the ignition switch right here. When you turn it on, there it is. Here's the sound. I'll put it nice so you can hear what it sounds like. But obviously the coolest thing is you can actually see that the kyber crystal is exposed, which is a very nice detail. It looks sick. It's very clean. Nothing too fancy, but at the same time, it's also not too heavy compared to like Ray's legacy lightsaber. That thing is super heavy. This has two different hilts combined together and it's pretty light. All right, everyone, the moment you've been waiting for. Look how sick this is. I've never actually used the lightsaber staff before. I can't do the Darth Maul to go like this or something, right? Like, okay, anyway. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Yo. I have no training with this whatsoever, so I'm not gonna go too hard, but like, this is sick. And now the new addition that just makes this whole legacy lightsaber, like, staff, that much cooler. I mean, guys. I definitely recommend it, especially if you already have the Darth Maul, uh, the original Legacy lightsaber. This thing is freaking sick. Remember, two of these of the new Dark Maul can't connect to each other. An old Dark Maul and a new Dark Maul can, and two old Dark Maul Legacy lightsabers can connect. The reason behind that two of these can't connect is because it's actually canon that they have never seen connected to each other. So they don't they don't want to ruin the story of Galaxy's Edge. This. It's so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at you. All of this wouldn't be possible without you. You have a YouTube channel, what is it? Yes, it is called General Kenobi's Campaign. Go check him out. Thank you for letting me see your newest lightsaber, the newest legacy lightsaber here in Galaxy's Edge. Lovely, lovely. Before we end our day in Disney World, always making new friends. What is up, guys? What's your names? What's your name? Mia. Mia. Emily. Emily. Oh. So nice meeting you guys. And you just got a lightsaber. I did. Did you did. build it? I did. With my purple kyber crystal. I've got my ranker horn. Okay. I have my okay. Vanta leather. Let's go. I've got my whalebone. She knows what's good. <laughs> and the shirt too. Oh yeah. Maybe the horse be with you. So good day today, huh? Excellent oh, day. Yeah. Magical day. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he's just having so much fun. Yes! Yes! This is the best thing to do if you're a Star Wars fan. Come here at the end of the day. What time is it now? Like 10? Uh, it's way past uh, yeah. park closing, right? It's 10, 12. Oh my gosh, exactly. it was still here. It's over an hour after park closing. Over an hour park closing, Galaxy's Edge stays open. All right, guys, with all that being said, it's been a fun night here at Galaxy's Edge in Disney's Hollywood Studios. 
literally did not expect to have so much fun with just an hour of the park being open. Definitely come get your new Legacy lightsaber before they sell out. I didn't have about like 200 copies or so. Uh, remember, every day is a blessed day to be alive, and I will see you. I don't know how to do anything yet. In the next one, peace, guys. This is the end credit scene. If you watched this whole video, I appreciate you guys so much. Let's say the secret word of the day is Crossroads Jojo. I don't know. That one doesn't really make sense, but that's the point. Have a good night, everybody. Look how empty.